I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs and today I'm going to show you how to transfer your punch needle design to the weaver's cloth using an iron-on transfer pin. Let's get started. A while back when I was cruising around on the internet I came across these iron-on transfer pins from Sublime Stitching that are made for transferring embroidery patterns to your fabric. They have a fine tip which disappears underneath your embroidery as you stitch it. So I was curious as to whether or not they would work for a punch needle. So I contacted Jenny Hart at Sublime Stitching and she asked her and she sent me one to try. So I'm going to show you how it works. She sent this to me but the opinions here are all entirely my own. They come in black, blue, green, orange, and red. And then she also has a bold tip pin, an iron-on transfer pin. So what you do is you take the pattern that you're going to use and you trace, I'm going to do this cat here, so you just trace over the pattern with the pen. When you're punching, you want to have a design reversed, but when you iron this on, it's going to flip the image. So you actually want, if you're transferring the patterns this way, it to be going the correct way. I'm going to show you with a few letters. All right, cat. and then you'll see what I mean. I want it to be going the way I want it at the end. So then you're supposed to take your weaver's cloth, your foundation fabric, and heat it up and then we're going to transfer the design. Okay, I'm going to start by heating up my fabric with a dry iron, getting it good and hot. Then I'm going to place my pattern in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and pin it down so it doesn't move around while I'm pressing it. Then I'm going to iron Then I want to lift up and make sure it all went through. It looks like it did. And there we have it. And now if you notice, even though I had done the letters the right way, they're now backwards, which is perfect for punch needle. What I like about this method is I can use the same pattern several times if I want to make the same project a couple times, but it does add the extra step of ironing after you trace the pattern. But it's a great option if you don't have a light source available. I'm going to go ahead and try it a second time to see how it comes out. First I'll heat up the fabric again. And I'll place the pattern on here. That was the second transfer, and as you can see, it still transferred really well. 
I have been punching a pattern that I transferred this way and it punches just fine. You can punch over the lines without any problems at all. I hope you found that helpful. I'll see you next time. Bye.